We'll meet you at the frog jump, Willie. You better get moving. I'm talking with Turbo Frog and his owner Hunt. Hunt, this is the biggest turnout Toot Sweet's ever had for the annual frog jump. Do you think your frog has anything to do with it? Absolutely. Turbo is known the world over as the longest jumper. People come from all over to see him jump. You've had a chance to study the field, to see the competition. How do you rate the other frog? I will tell you, Stan. These other frogs will be outclassed. They are too small and skinny. They should eat more, like my Turbo here. Turbo is well known on the circuit for his incredible 25-foot jump. Do you think any of these frogs are capable of beating his world record today? You must be joking. Turbo is world-class jumper. These other frogs, they are bimpy. By winning the Miss Plunger of America beauty contest, Patty Sue Dombrowski receives a check for $200 and a lifetime supply of plungers and an all-expense-paid trip around the Dakotas by bus. Strikers use these pickets to express their anger and frustration in a manner that communicates both the issues involved and the unfairness under which they are presently expected to work. They also make good clubs for whacking yellow-bellied scabs who cross the picket lines. Last year, Lewis won the Platinum Plumber Award for his commitment to plumbing excellence. During the award ceremony, Lewis brought a standing room crowd of plumbers to tears with his I ain't stupid, I'm a plumber speech. Lewis Stuhl begrudges celebrities for their wealth, beauty, and possessions. He knows that he can never have the first two, but by using Leona, he hopes to gain the third. Lewis 
of the daily schedule suggests that he's a very busy man. The fact is, however, that most of his daily grind involves Leona. Lewis calls this his poop shoot. It's where he tosses all his credit card bills. This is Lewis's box of love notes that various women have written over the years. He purchased the box of letters at the Frumpton Flea Market last month. Strikers use these pickets to express their anger and frustration in a manner that communicates both the issues involved and the unfairness under which they are presently expected to work. Also make good clubs for whacking yellow-bellied scabs who cross the picket lines.